Uh, now I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit of information we have nowadays. Uh, this information is about uh, the person who are treated by those person I, I, I showed the picture in the beginning from the family. So between January 2007 and July 2008, uh, we were seeing like 600 people. Uh, we began with only 10 person, 10 people. And those people uh, get some good results and decided to invite other sick, real people to come and do the therapy. Then after uh, one year and a half, it was around 600 people. Uh, so uh, in July 2008, we uh, had to stop because uh, injection. The government, the government makes uh, pressure in us, so we had to quit our work. Uh, of course, we lost the contact of most of the people who were treating. Uh, they couldn't do the treatment, uh, the therapy, uh, all the way. The one year we say. And nowadays we still have without seeing people. We just are doing the therapy for people who we know or friend of friends. But now I'm gonna show uh, six person cases which were under the treatment. Uh, this first one, uh, it's a male, six, uh, 56 years. Uh, he lives in Sao Paulo. Uh, he diagnoses on he was diagnosed on September 26, 2006. Uh, he had a adenocarcinoma of sigmoid polyp hectosigmoid. In a few weeks, he did a hectosigmoidectomy surgery to remove the. Um, after surgery, he decided not to do any of chemotherapy, radiotherapy, or other therapy, and decided to go for the cobaltic therapy. I want to make it clear: we never say to people uh, give up other treatments. <coughs> and basically the, the classical treatment, we never ask it for them. Uh, so after one month during the, the cognitive method, uh, his physical condition was getting better, he was more excited because he was very down, and he started to increase weight. Uh, after the second month, uh, she, he related that he didn't feel like he was sick before, it was just like he never got sick. On well, May 2007, um, um, uh, after six months of surgery, uh, the doctor said he was all right and the disease was under control and asked him just come back after uh, three months to do exams. Didn't need to more to do the exams monthly. So the le less um, class, uh, less medical exam we had from him was from one year after the surgery and there's everything under control. Uh, nowadays we still we still have contact with him. And he's having a, a normal life, he get back to work, and there is no restriction at all. And the second case, uh, it's a female, she's around uh, 45 years, and she had the diagnosis of uh, a breast cancer, mama. Uh, it's an invasive ductal carcinoma. Um, she decided to make, uh, before doing the surgery, she decided to do the therapy, start the, the therapy, so she started on July 14. Uh, less than a month, she made a mastectomy. Uh, after the surgery, the doctor prescribed chemo chemotherapy, but uh, she didn't want to do it because she got to know about the method uh, with a friend who had treated like 30 years before, and she was alright until now, so she decided to not do any other treatment. So she kept going and just doing the therapy, she made the cognitive therapy entirely like the one year therapy, and she's just fine until now, and we still get contact with her, and no sign of the disease after, after two years. Uh, she made the treatment in between in July 2007, and two years later, nowadays, uh, she doesn't have any sign of the disease. Uh, this is the third case, and it's a male, 50 years old. Uh, he diagnosed was anatomic pathology. Uh, the anatomic pathology is solid and muscular adenocarcinoma. Uh, he starts to do the, the therapy, cognitive therapy, on November 25. Uh, but this one, uh, he already had scheduled the surgery for one month later. So he took the devices and did daily sessions in his home. After, sur after some months after the surgery, uh, the doctor couldn't believe uh, how fast he was healing. Uh, if that's uh, happened, why? 
because uh, the, the therapy eliminates the virus, uh, the disease causative agent in the body, so allows the body to work properly and regain the function of healing itself. So the recovery would be much quicker than if the person has the disease causative agent active in the body. Uh, yesterday, I just uh, today I just got the information. Yesterday he went to do a session. Uh, his his shoes very good, and all the time he takes people who are sick to do the treatment as well. Uh, and, and he didn't he didn't want to do the chemotherapy as well. He just did the surgery in the coaching therapy. Uh, this one is a female, 60 years old. Uh, he's she had a ulcerative carcinoma. Um, she did the, the, the section and did and this one did 27 hand therapies and seven chemotherapies. On the second chemotherapy, uh, she had a heart attack and decided to quit the the treatment. And she didn't know, but she also had uh, pancreas cancer. Uh, her son, his her son, decided to not tell her about this situation. So after five months of the diagnosis, she started to do the, the covatic therapy. And after she started to do it, she started to feel, to improve, to feel better, because she had wounds uh, were not healing. She had a lot of wounds on the, the, the mouth was not healing. She felt uh, she could not uh, feed herself very good. And she felt the burn, uh, the abdomen, and burn inside. All those symptoms are decreasing gradually, gradually during the MK sessions. And one thing that happened was in September 26, uh, her, uh, her pancreas tumor was reduced just uh, a lesion. So nowadays she is just fine. She just had a, a little bit of seconds from the radiotherapy, but that's okay. It's just uh, uh, some sensitive in the stomach. Until now, she comes to Sao Paulo, she is from the north of Brazil. Uh, each is six months, one year, she comes to Sao Paulo to go to the doctor, make exams to see how, if the disease comes back or not. And all the time she comes to Sao Paulo, she goes to make a sorry, uh, session, in case session. And she's a, uh, a late, seven, four years old from Sao Paulo. Uh, she had mama uh, cancer. Uh, she didn't want to do neither surgery, neither any treatment. Uh, so the doctor got really mad at her and she decided to not go back to the doctor. Uh, and after a while, she found us and started to do the MK treatment. Uh, after a while doing the Kovacic method, we asked her to go back to the doctor to do the exams and see how things are happening. Uh, and the doctor made all the exams and she was fine, everything was under control. Uh, she went to the Jayatsi, who followed her to the mastologist. The mastologist indicates uh, he wants to do the surgery, but she again didn't want to do it, so she didn't go back to the doctor anymore. Just went back to the doctor after two years in 2009, and the mastologist said uh, she was really fine. Some of the nodules uh, uh, had disappeared, and the other ones got smaller, but she was uh, good after all.